Hello everybody, I just got home from class and I have another class in an hour and I decided in my little lunch break to film a book haul because I just picked up all of these patches. You can't even see the bottom. Wait. Oh, all of these back. This is so heavy. All of these packages from the mail room. I went on a little book ordering spree because since moving to this apartment, I haven't ordered a single book. Not that I need to because my TBR pile, if you watch my organizing my book videos, you see over there. I have another book wall just like this one, but only of books I haven't read. This is just the books I have read. Here's about to be a lot more books to add to that book wall over there, but I just couldn't help myself. There's been so many books I've wanted to buy recently. So I'm gonna do an unboxing with you guys because I thought this would be a quick and cute and fun video to film even though I have to get do this fast because I have school. Oh, why is it so washed out? Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. This is the second book that comes after It Happened One Summer, which is right here. I read it last summer and I liked it. And Tessa Bailey's books I always like enjoy. Um, they're not my favorites, but I definitely am looking forward to this. I don't even know what trope it is, but it's a small town romance and I want to do a small town book recommendation. So I had to get my hands on this. I don't know why it's looking so washed out but this is the cover. <laughs> I'm gonna start a stack right here just so you can see it, even though I'm gonna end up moving them. Um, I was doing my math on this <laughs> package before opening it, but two books in here. <gasps> this is Someone Who Will Love You In All Your Damaged Glory. I loved the title and I love books that like make me contemplate my existence. So maybe this will do it. And I just love the cover and the title. So it says transcendent tragic comedy, prepare to be devastated and made whole again. And that sounds exactly up my alley. And I can't wait to read this. And I just thought the cover was so cute. What else is in here? This is one I've already read. This is Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. I read this while I was abroad, so I didn't have the paperback. I read it on my phone, but I really enjoyed it and I thought it was so cute, so I got it in paperback. It was definitely kind of, um, I think YA, so like younger than I usually enjoy, but I still thought it was cute and I wanted to own it. So I can actually add this to my red stack, so I'm gonna put it there. Okay, now get into a box. This is like a fancy football box. Stabbing it with my nail. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Come on, let me go get a scissor. Is there only one book in here? <gasps> one book, but it's an exciting one. <laughs> this is the new Taylor Jenkins Reid book, Carrie Soto's Back. How beautiful is this cover? It's shiny. Oh, ew. Why does this spine have purple on it? Taylor Jenkins Reid is one of my favorite authors. Every book I've read by her, I've given five stars. So I'm sure this one will be no different. I'm a little bit nervous though, because Carrie Soto was a character in Malibu Rising. From what I've seen of her, I don't know how I feel. So I'm excited to be in her perspective. Okay, next box. Okay, this one I've been wanting. Oh my God, it's so little and cute. I got this book one month for book of the month but I gave it to my mom because I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. And then I've been really thinking about it and I'm like, no, I actually want it. So I ordered it for myself. This is the smallest hardcover I've ever seen. Like, look at the difference between these two hardcovers. I heard that this is actually really good. This is, sorry, my air conditioning class turned on. This is My Body by Emily Rodajkowski. And I heard like all young girls should read this. So I'm excited to read it. I don't know if it's a memoir or what, but I love memoirs. So I think I'll like it. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Okay. This one's full. First, Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. My friend Ellie told me to read this and I trust her recommendations with my life. And it's a hockey boy figure skating girl romance. And I heard it's reverse grumpy sunshine and I can't wait to read it. I think I'm gonna read this very soon. What's next? This is Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry. I've heard so many people talk about this trilogy. I only got the first book just to see if I'll like it. Um, it's a small town romance. Like I said, I wanna read more of those for a video. Very excited about this. Oh, this is one I've already read but didn't have the paperback of, The Confidence of Wildflowers. I somehow got the paperback of the second book, but I didn't have the first one, so I had to get the first one. It's a duology that I really enjoyed. Also read this one while I was abroad, so that's getting added to the stack. This is a book from the Hoop series by Kennedy Ryan. I've read the first one. I think this is the second one or is this the third one? I don't know, but I'm gonna add this to my TBR pile over there because I have the other book that I haven't read in that pile. So I'm gonna read this soon. I really liked the first one. It was a lot like deeper than I expected. It's a sports romance, but then the first one was very dark as well. So I'm excited. I really enjoyed her writing. Next. I got Darling Venom by Parker S. Huntington. I don't know where I saw people talking about this. I think maybe Instagram. I don't know the trope, don't know what it's about, but I'm easily convinced and I liked the cover, so 
I bought it. Um, it says, my first love ended in tragedy, my second began with his brother. That sounds a little crazy. Also sounds up my alley. So, reading that soon, for sure. The last two books I have are books that everyone has been telling me to read. I don't know where they, where like these books came from or like randomly they just started trending. I hate the covers, but it's Binding 13 and Keeping 13 by Chloe Walsh. And these books have been all over my TikTok with like those cute little aesthetic videos of like showing, talking about the characters. And I feel like I'm really, really gonna enjoy it, but I don't know what it's about. But from the aesthetic videos and stuff and like the little quotes I've seen, it looks incredible. So if you've read this, let me know. They're very huge and very long. Like these are literally like textbooks. I wanted to wait and see if she was gonna do a cover redesign, but I don't know. I didn't wanna wait any longer. Because I trust your guys' recommendations and you said I was gonna love it. Look how tall that stack is. That's gonna fall, I need to move that. That's the end of this haul. I need to recycle these. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the books that I've been ordering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 books. As if I needed to order any new books. But yeah, those are all the books that I ordered. I hope you enjoyed seeing this quick, easy book haul. This might be like the shortest video ever, but I don't care. If you guys wanna see more book hauls, let me know. It will inspire me to keep buying more books, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video. If you wanna follow me on my other social medias, they're all down below as always, and I'll see you in my next one very, very soon. Bye.